subscribe to our channel for latest video series on GAIN, UGC, NET and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. So now we look at convolution of two pulses. See the, these are two pulses. Now we are looking at the convolution. So firstly we are going to look at the convolution by analytical method which is by integrating by finding the convolution integral. And secondly we are going to look at them by graphical method. What is graphical method? We will see. Okay. So uh, these are fine. So this is xt and this is your ht. For performing convolution by analytical method, what I need to do is firstly I need to express them in form of some signals. Since, uh, since these two signals consist of steps only, we can represent them using unit step signals. So what can I write xt as? xt can be written, this is a step of size 1 occurring at t is equal to 0, so this is ut. Next step change occurs at t is equal to 3, a step of size minus 1, so I can write it as ut minus ut minus 3. Right, this is what xt is going to be and what is ht? ht is ut minus u t minus 2. Fine. So this is uh, these are going to be the representation of xt and ht. Now if I try to find out their convolution by analytical method, what is it going to be? xt convolution ht. This is going to be integration minus infinity to infinity x tau h of t minus tau d tau. Right. This is what we have learned. Now just put it, uh, the values, x tau is going to be u tau minus u of tau minus 3 <coughs> into h, h t minus tau, okay, h t minus tau I am finding, this is going to be uh, u of t minus tau minus u of t minus tau minus 2 into d tau. Fine, this is what this is going to be. Okay. Now what am I doing is, I am just performing these multiplications okay, and separating their integrals. Integral is a linear operation. So I can just write them individually. So what does this become? This becomes minus infinity to infinity u tau multiplied with u t minus tau. So this is u tau into u t minus tau d tau. Next integral is going to be multiplication of these two, taking minus common u of tau minus 3 into u of t minus tau d tau. Then again multiplication of these two I am taking minus common. So this becomes u tau to u of t minus tau minus 2. And in the end I am going to have multiplication of these two which is u of tau minus 3 into u of t minus tau minus 2 d tau, right. Now see, uh, I am going to look individually at all these pulses and the period of their existence. See, these are two unit step functions which have been multiplied. Now they are going to exist only for a finite period, like you, if you just look at the, uh, this multiplication. This u tau occurs only for values of tau greater than 0, whereas this, this pulse, this is going to occur for all values of tau less than t, okay. Uh, I am just uh, sketching and explaining this one, rest of uh, them you can understand. So u tau, this is how u tau is going to look like, okay. This is going to have value 1 only for all tau greater than 0, only for values of tau greater than 0, right. So this is how u tau looks like. Now I need to sketch u t minus tau. Now this function involves two, two operations of shifting and reversal. So we know what do we do? What is the order of uh, performing this operation? Shifting first then reversal. So I am sketching u t plus tau first. Uh, okay, I am taking this here. So if I just sketch u t plus tau, there can be two cases. Two cases for this as we have seen in the previous example also. If t is greater than 0, this is how u t plus tau is going to look like. And if t is less than 0, if t is less than 0, this is how it looks like, okay. Now if I perform reversal, if you just perform reversal, what is going to happen? This function is going to look like this. All the t values get reversed, right. So this is going to be u t minus tau for t greater than 0 and how is this function going to look like? 
it's going to look something like this 40 less than 0 ut minus tau right now if you look at intersection of these functions if you look at intersection of u tau and ut minus tau you can see that intersection is possible only for these two functions when t is less than 0 it is possible only when t is less than 0 if t is greater than 0 intersection is not possible and in that case also in that case also what values uh, for what values is it defined it is defined only from 0 to t 0 to 2 t with the value 1 right okay so this is going to be the sketch for t less than 0 and when you reverse this you are going to obtain something some graph like this and for t greater than 0 this is going to be the sketch and on reversal we are getting something like this so we see that intersection of these two functions is possible only when t is greater than 0 and and also then for what values is the multiplication going to be defined only for values between 0 and t only for tau ranging from 0 to t with value of 1. So, I can just modify the limits here. If I just modify limits here, what can I say? Limits should be from 0 to t. See, because multiplication of these two functions is defined only for tau ranging from 0 to t, 0 to t d tau. See, to specify this that t can be only greater than 0 what can I say what is a function which can which is defined only for uh, values of t greater than 0 and with the magnitude of 1 ut so what am I doing I am placing a ut in multiplication ok just to specify that value of t can be greater than 0 only right now uh, similarly if you just perform similar kind of operations for this see this this pulse is going to start from tau is equal to 3 and onwards and this pulse is going to be this pulse is going to be defined from uh, similar to this okay this is going to be defined for values of the uh, uh, left to t so only if t is greater than 3 only when t is greater than 3 this multiplication is possible right and for what values from from values 3 to t right uh, see if i just sketch this function u tau minus 3 this is going to look something like this okay i'm taking it here only so this is how u of tau minus 3 is going to look like now see this multiplication is not possible if t is less than 0 this is not possible also multiplication of this pulse and this pulse is possible only if t is greater than 3 see why because if t is less than 3 then this pulse starts from left of this one okay it starts some, somewhere here and keeps on moving left so no intersection is going to be present only if this t is greater than 3 we are going to have some intersection and between what limits from 3 to t so for this pulse we can define limits as limits from 3 to t and value 1 d tau now what is the condition that we have assumed here we have assumed that t is greater than 3 so to define a signal which starts from 3 what can i multiply this with i can multiply this with a unit step function which starts from t is equal to 3 this is just to define that this t should be greater than 3 only you can have t values greater than 3 if you have any t value which is less than 3 this complete integral is going to become 0 right so that is why we are multiplying this with a unit step function which starts from 3 now similar to this you can see uh, these functions also if if you just see this u tau u tau is going to start from tau is equal to 0 if you look at this one t minus tau minus 2 how is this going to look like if i just sketch it right so this going to this going to be 1 for values of tau ranging from 0 to t minus 2 right similar similar to this one okay this was uh, 1 for values of tau ranging from 0 to t okay so this is going to be 1 for this multiplication is going to be 1 for values ranging from 0 to t minus 2 right we are having tau minus t minus 2 right that is why and value is going to be 1 so d tau now this t needs to be greater than 2 so I am multiplying this with u of t minus 2 and look at the last integral now this starts from 3 this star this uh, is going to be from t minus 2 so this integral is going to be from 3 to t minus 2 
provided this t minus 2 is greater than 3. This t minus 2 is greater than, uh, sorry, less than 3, less than 3. Or, or what can I say? t minus 2 is less than 3 or t is less than 5. So, I am going to multiply this with u of t minus 5. Why this happened? Because I need this t minus 2 be less than 3. If t minus 2 is less than 3, t is less than 5 and u t minus 5. Okay. Fine, if you just perform this integration now, this integration is going to be t. Since upper limit is t, lower limit is 0. Okay. So, t u t minus t minus 3 u t minus 3 minus t minus 2 u t minus 2 plus t minus 5 u t minus 5. Okay. So, now you know these what are these? These are shifted ramp signals. Okay. T u t is a ramp signal, shifted ramp signal. Since these arguments and these multiplication factors are same, we can say that these are going to be ramp signals. So, what can I say? This is RT minus R of T minus 3 minus R of T minus 2 plus R of T minus 5. So, these are ramp signals of value 1 which are shifted, shifted ramp signals. So, if I just try to sketch this, how is it going to look like? So, if you just start sketching, firstly we are having a ramp of value 1 that means a line of slope 1 starting from t is equal to 0. So, I am going to have and the next change is going to occur at t is equal to 2. Fine. So, I will have a line of slope 1 till t is equal to 2. So, value is going to be 2 only rt. Now, we are having a slope change of minus 1. Slope change of minus 1 means there is going to be a line of slope 0. Line of slope 0 is going to be parallel to x axis till when? Till uh, t is equal to 3. So, from 2 to 3 I am going to have a straight line of value 2 or slope 0. It is going to have slope 0 for till t is equal to 3. What happens at t is equal to 3? Again, we are having a slope change of minus 1 which means that net slope of this graph is going to be minus 1 till when? Till t is equal to 5. Now, see initial value was 2. Now, we are having a slope of line of slope minus 1 till t is equal to 5. So, what is going to be the final value? We know that slope is change in y upon change in x. Now, slope is minus 1, minus 1. So, this should be equal to change in y. What is change in x? Final value is 5, initial value was 3. So, this is 2. So, this should be equal to, we need to calculate final value of y. Initial value we know it is 2. So, final value is going to be 0. At t is equal to 5, final value is going to be 0. Right, so, this is a line of slope 1, line of slope 0 and line of slope minus 1. Okay. Now, again you are having a change of slope plus 1 at t is equal to 5 which makes the net slope as 0. So, this is how the signal is going to look like. Now, this is how convolution of these two pulses is going to look like. See, one thing that you can note here is since these pulses were of unequal widths, unequal widths, that is why we obtained a trapezoidal pulse. If these pulses were of same width, that is if both of them had a duration of 2 units or 3 units, we could have obtained a triangular pulse. Also, Another thing that you can notice, lower limit of convolution of these pulses is addition of lower limits of these two pulses. Lower limit of this pulse was 0, 0, addition 0, fine. So, convolution had lower limit as 0. High, upper limit for this pulse was 3 and here it was 2. So, addition of these two we obtained 5 as upper limit of the convolution of these two pulses, right. And what is the value of these two pulses? It is the, okay, also area of this pulse plus area of this pulse is going to be net area of the convoluted signal, convoluted pulse. Okay, if their durations were same, we would have obtained